Hey guys, welcome back to week four of my MIT challenge where I'm attempting to learn MIT's four-year computer science curriculum in 12 months without taking any classes or even being enrolled in MIT. So this last week, just in the beginning, I finished electricity and magnetism and this marks the fourth class that I finished in about four to six days. And so today I wanted to walk through the strategy I'm using to try to compress a 120 hour course at the MIT level down to learning it in about four or five days. And I've been scoring in the high 70s for the mark, so it's not perfect grades, so I'm not saying that this is a perfect strategy for always getting an A+, but it is a good strategy if you have very little time and you want a really efficient approach to learning as good as you possibly can in a very short period of time, or if you are teaching yourself something and you just want to speed up the process and you don't want to waste as much time going through the inefficient steps that most people go through. So the three-part strategy I've been using is cover, debug, and then insight. As you can see, I wrote here on the board. And the first step is to cover all the material. And so what I've been doing is I've been downloading the lectures and then watching them with VLC player so I can speed it up to around two times the speed. This allows me to go through a 35-hour set of lectures in considerably less time so that I can do it in only one or two days. So that's the first part. If you are stuck in lectures and you're spending tons of time doing that, or you are just going through textbooks really inefficiently, then if you take a long time to cover through all the material, that's going to slow you down. So that's the first part, going through the material quickly and going through a fast covering period. But I don't kid myself. If I'm learning through an entire MIT course and I'm watching them at two times the speed, I'm going to have gaps. I'm not going to completely understand all the ideas and I'm not going to have it at the deep level where I can get all of the problems right when I'm doing an exam or a test. So what I've been using is the second part is what I call the debug phase where I look for holes and errors in my understanding. So holes are concepts that I am missing, things that I should understand but I don't, and errors are things that I think I understand but I actually understand incorrectly. And the hardest part about learning a class in such a short period of time isn't actually learning the material. That's not what I found. The hardest part is actually figuring out what you don't know or the things that you think you understand but you don't understand well enough or you don't understand correctly. So what I use for debugging is I get lots of practice problems that have both the problems and the solutions. If you just have the problems, they're pretty much useless because you need to be able to get rapid feedback in order to quickly learn what it is you know and what it is you don't know. And I also don't take the approach of doing tons of practice problems just to get mastery. That would be what I would do if I were taking you know, several weeks to learn the class and I was aiming for an A plus to get 95% plus instead of just you know, 80%. But because I have such a short time frame, I can't do all the practice problems that are there realistically. So what I've been aiming to do is trying to do a sampling approach where I try to cover as many topics as possible, short questions, and if I get one wrong, that's a good indicator to me that there's some concept there that I don't fully understand. So what I've been doing is I've been doing these practice problems and then using that to figure out, okay, there's something here that I don't quite understand. Once I have that, once I figure out what it is that I don't know or what it is I don't understand, I then move to the next phase, which is gathering insight. And so there's a few ways that you can do this, but actually learning an idea, once you know what it is you don't understand, actually learning an idea isn't that difficult because there's lots of things you can do to quickly accelerate that process of actually understanding the concept once you know that you don't fully understand it. So the first technique I've been using is what I call the Feynman technique. And this is because, I call it this because Richard Feynman, the Nobel laureate physicist, he had a similar kind of method for going through papers and for thinking through ideas, which I sort of adopted in my own practice. And I have a link here to the video where I describe this technique. And there's also in the notes below um, a link to lecture notes where there's tons of examples of how I use this on the last class I did, which was electricity and magnetism. So basically the idea is that you explain the idea as if you were teaching it to someone else. So you write out on a piece of paper the idea as if you were teaching it to someone else. And that allows you to quickly pinpoint, maybe you feel, okay, I don't understand torque, or I don't understand differential equations, or I don't understand this broad idea. Doing this process will quickly pinpoint what is the key specific thing within that big idea that you're missing. And once you've identified that, you can quickly seek out an explanation for that small piece. Once again, this is a point of narrowing down to figure out what exactly you don't understand. 
The second thing I've been doing is doing a lot of background research to find other explanations. So if it's been explained to me one way and that's not really clicking, it's not really giving me a good visual intuition of the idea, or maybe it's causing me to think of the idea in an incorrect way just by the way it's been worded, then seeking other explanations which explain the idea from different perspectives is very helpful. So this isn't very difficult either. If you just type in the concept you're trying to learn into YouTube or into Wikipedia or into Google, you're bound to get tons of explanations. So there's no excuse of, oh, I don't really understand the way this has been taught. Almost every idea has tons of videos, tons of information also explaining it once you've identified what it is you don't understand. So that's the three-step process I've been using. First, I cover the material and I accelerate that by downloading the lectures and watching them at a faster speed. But even though I'm covering the material, I'm aware that I don't have a deep mastery yet. That's where the second phase comes in. When I do a lot of practice problems to identify, to pinpoint what are the concepts I don't understand? What are the concepts I think I understand, but I actually understand incorrectly? And also, what are the associations I'm making? Because if you're learning a factual course that has a lot of things that you might feel you need to memorize, doing this process of doing practice problems can also help you identify which things you don't remember well enough. So you can go through this practice problem approach exactly the same way as with a concept-based class like physics as you can with a non-concept-based class such as anatomy and physiology. And finally, once you get to that phase where you know what it is you don't understand, then you can use something like the Feynman technique or you can use accessing other resources in order to truly teach yourself how the idea works. So that's been my strategy for going through in the past few days. Recently, I've switched to doing the classes in parallel. So it's the same process. It's just I'm doing more classes at the same time over a slightly longer period of time. I'll be updating you guys next week on future updates of my progress. Make sure to subscribe below to the YouTube channel and also to check out the MIT Challenge homepage where I have lists of all the exams that I've written, access to all the course material, and also notes and techniques that I've been using so you can also learn how I'm learning this type of material as quickly as I am. Thanks and I'll see you soon.